Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'd like to talk a little bit about Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Now, Mother Teresa was not born in Calcutta. She was born in the town of Skokli in present-day Macedonia, but her family was Albanian. So it's the Balkans, so it's a very diverse ethnic region. At the age of 18, she joined the Sisters of Loreto, and she went to Ireland for a postulancy. She went to India, where she did her novitiate, where she made her vows, and where for a number of years, she was a teacher in a girls' high school. And then, probably about sometime in her 40s, she was on a train uh, going to make her annual retreat, and she received what she called a call within the call. Within her call to be a sister, she was discerning this other call to start a community serving the very poorest of the poor in India, in Calcutta, a city of great poverty. And it was a very hard decision, but she left the Loreto convent. She received some medical training and she started serving the poor. They would pick dying people up off the streets and care for them, that at least they could die with some dignity. And eventually other women came to join her, including some of her students, and her order experienced very rapid growth. Now, she drew her inspiration from our St. Therese, St. Therese of Lisieux, the whole idea of doing little things with great love. And she sought to see and serve Jesus in others, in the poorest of the poor. And the missionaries of charity, in addition to the traditional religious vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, also take a fourth vow of service to the poorest of the poor. And it's important to root all this in their spirituality. The sisters aren't simply social workers who don't date. They are missionaries of charity, and what they do really flows out of their prayer life. In all of her chapels around the world, there are there is a crucifix above the tabernacle, and beneath it are two words, I thirst, the words of Jesus from the cross. And they see themselves as trying to quench that thirst of Jesus in the poorest of the poor. And they spend an hour each morning in Eucharistic adoration because they said when we see Jesus in the Eucharist, that leads us to see Jesus in the poorest of the poor. St. John Chrysostom in the very early church talked about telling people that the same Jesus who says, this is my body, is the same Jesus who said, I was hungry and you did not give me to eat. That the Catechism tells us the Eucharist should commit us to the poor. And so what Mother Teresa did, what St. Teresa of Calcutta did, was really, with so many religious communities, what they do they take one aspect of the Christian life and they highlight it. So we're all called as Christians to be concerned with the poor. Okay. She took one aspect of, that, of our Christian life and really highlighted it for all to see and to live it out in a very special way, to serve Christ in the poorest of the poor. And eventually she received great recognition for all this. She won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and her order continued to grow. Now, what people didn't know until after her death was that she experienced some great spiritual darkness. So at the founding of her community, she experienced some very powerful spiritual consolation. And after that, it was just dryness dryness when she prayed. It was like there was nothing happening. It was this emptiness, something that St. Therese faced as well in the final year or so of her life, a really pitch black darkness. And there was a slight relief of this in the late 50s, and then it returned again, and it was with her for the rest of her life. 
She said, my smile is my mask. And she said that when she died, she would tell God, I served you in darkness. But through some good spiritual direction, she was able to realize something. She was not being punished. What she sought to do was to serve Christ in the poorest of the poor, not just materially, but spiritually. So she was experiencing some of this spiritual poverty that so many people experience. She was experiencing it, and that just that insight helped her to bear it. And that was something that St. Therese experienced too. She said, this, this must be like what it must be like for people who don't believe in God. And so she was able to bear that heavy cross with that smile on her face. And I think it was probably after she died, someone had said she spent her life serving those that most of us would rather forget. Serving those, as Pope Francis would say, who are on the peripheries. Now, we're not all called to be missionaries of charity, working in the streets of Calcutta or the Bronx or wherever her sisters are around the world, but we are all called to be concerned about the poor, and we're all called to see and serve Christ in others, especially in those in need. Inspired by her example and assisted by her prayers, May we see and serve Christ and others, particularly those who are most in need. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us.